flag held up by fire trucks hangs at the entrance of St. Mark Catholic Church. While hundreds gathered inside, some stayed outside. All the tribute a serviceman who died in Baghdad just last week. We're here to honor the soldier. That's what it's all about. I mean, I could care less about the politics, who likes who. It's about the soldiers. They're the ones actually doing the dirty work. 39-year-old Sergeant First Class Ed Kramer was a Marine, a firefighter, and a member of the National Guard. People who didn't even know him lined outside Wilmington National Cemetery to pay their respects. It's important to us because my dad was in the military, in the Army, and I think it's important to, to come here. He did a lot, and he helped us, and he saved our lives. Inside the cemetery grounds, Kramer was saluted. Uh, it hits us very hard, and uh, you know we, we rally around each other and try to show the family that how much that individual meant to us and, and how much we're going to miss him. Many people describe Sergeant First Class Ed Kramer as a hero who died in the line of duty. Now he'll be buried at Wilmington National Cemetery with other heroes. We'll miss him. Uh, mostly on our emergency calls. He, uh, he was a great firefighter and uh, EMT, uh, knew his job well, so I knew that uh, when we were on the call I could count on him to, uh, to do what needed to be done. But now Kramer leaves his memory behind, fading in with other fallen service people who died fighting for our freedom. In Wilmington, Laura Sinafori, WECT News.